Is it better to hold off until the next model year? Although a new model won't be available until later this year, the iPhone 15 Pro Max launch has come and gone, and you may already be debating whether to purchase now or hold off until the rumored iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro Max, which are expected to be released next year. Nearly six months have passed since the iPhone 15 Pro Max was released, and a lot of speculations about the iPhone 16 Pro Max have surfaced. We have a decent sense of the type of enhancements we can anticipate because of all of them. However, before we get started, there is one crucial disclaimer to make. It was tipped that Apple might release an Ultra version of the iPhone 15 in 2017. Although it didn't occur, Mark Gurman of Bloomberg believes it might happen in 2024. It might be an even more expensive model or the replacement for the Pro Max. Just remember that these features may be for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, the rumored iPhone 16 Ultra, or both, regardless of whether that ends up being the case. With a diagonal measurement of 6.7 inches, the Pro Max model is already by far Apple's biggest smartphone. However, the 2024 Pro Max is expected to have a 6.9-inch tipped display, making it considerably larger than it now is. It will be fascinating to see how much larger the phone is in the hand if this is the case. Though it's difficult to predict how much slimmer Apple can achieve with the iPhone 15 Pro Max's frame measuring just 1.55mm, they have been able to restrict footprint growth in the past by reducing bezels. We could see an aspect ratio modification just to make up for it, according to Ross Young, the display specialist who initially tipped off the screen size increase. The border reduction structure, BRS, which would further reduce the bezels, might be used in the new iPhones, which is another option. The shrinkage of the dynamic island cutout may also give us a little more screen real estate. An article dated January 2024 said that the iPhone 16 Pro models of 2024 will relocate Face ID under the screen, resulting in just one front-facing camera cutout. However, that may be something to anticipate in 2025. The mute switch was replaced with a brand new button on the most recent batch of Pro iPhones. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here, please subscribe. Peace out.